Hello and welcome to another video by Debbie Loves to Colour. In today's video it's going to be the part two of the colour along with the page Mother of Little Dragon by the artist Mariola Bedeck and the page is available for download on Etsy UK and I will post the link in the description box underneath if you're wanting to download this page. If you have been following me other videos, you'll know that I've already done the skin tutorial for this picture and my last um, video what I did was how to do Platinum Silver Air, which is the look what I've got here and I'm quite happy with. So today I think I'm going to be concentrating on the dragon and the colours what I've picked out, I've tried to pick out um, some brownish reddish, reddish tones and I've used the combinations from uh, Colour with Claire's combination chart and again I, if you're uh, not familiar, if you haven't got them charts for Prismacolors um, I definitely would recommend to visit Colour with Claire.com and look for downloadable charts you, you will find a prismacolor premier color combination chart i think she also does um polychromos and black widows and i'm not too sure but i think she's also got an arteza one so definitely check that out if you haven't uh, so i haven't got a clue how these actually look so i'm hoping it does turn out okay um so it's not my color combination so if if you're watching it then i then i think it's turned out pretty well if you are watching it obviously right so i'm just going to get in into the video and i'm going to be doing the dragon and i'm just going to see whether i need to zoom you in a bit i i think i am i'm just going to zoom you in a little bit and we'll start from up here and obviously i'm going to follow the grayscale so and if you've watched my videos before, we're going to be working from dark to light. And I'm going to make the streak down the tail where it's lighter to be our lightest colour. So again, I'm using Prismacolor Premier pencils. And the pencils that I've picked out are Black Raspberry, which is PC1095. Then we've got Sienna Brown, which is PC1095. 945 and then I'm using crimson red which is PC 924 and then we've got scarlet lake which is PC 923 so they're the colours and like I said I haven't got a clue how they're going to go together because I've never used this com combination personally so it'll be interesting to see but I wanted to try like a different colour for the dragon um, so I'm just going to get straight into it and start with the black raspberry and I think I'm going to start taking it just from underneath his um, leg here and we're just going to go over that grey scale and to begin with I'm only putting a light pressure down I'm not going to ash with that pencil just so I can get some layers and build up on my colour. So I'm just going basically over where the dark is, where the dark grey scale is. So I think my last video were actually, um, it were about a week ago. I haven't been posting much because um, I've just been really busy with work and stuff and I've not been very well. I mean, my birthday was last Friday and I had an ear infection in both ears and I were in so much pain, it were, it were unbelievable. Um, I still managed to go out though. Um, my partner trapped me, he, he, he really did. He uh, took me... Um, he took me to Thorough Meal and we had a nice meal and that and then we did want to go to pictures to see the Millicent, Um I think it's the second Millicent movie, uh, but we, we'd missed the showing and there were only one showing so we ended up going to watch Frozen, um, which he, he really did put himself out because he's, he's just not really into kids films, my partner. 
Um, so he were definitely putting himself out by going in first place to watch Frozen. Uh, but we we both I enjoyed it. My partner obviously wasn't too interested in it, but bless him, he took me anyway. So despite that, I did I did manage to go out. But um, on the Saturday when I come back, I think it just all took its toll, and I were really poorly. And I think I had like a little bit of a fever coming out as well on Saturday. So that's why you haven't really heard from me. So all as I'm doing is putting the layer of dark black raspberry down. And as usual, to when I'm going towards the middle of the white area, I'm just tapering it off on that pressure so you can get your other colour down. But yeah, I also got this gorgeous fur coat as well, what he bought me. And I find I had a chance to wear that. It, it's like a long beige. Well, it's classed as beige, but it's more of a brown. And it's really soft. It feels like one of them snug, you know, one of them snuggle blankets. Really soft it is. I might actually, towards the end of this, go back in there with some black. And just deepen it up a, a bit with some black. I think it'll make it pop a bit more. So I'm just going all in all these edges and leaving this bone piece of the dragon's tail, the spine. I'm going to leave that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing it black or I think I might do it a gold. I'll have to see what colour when I've uh, finished this and see what I want. So I think these bits here, I'm just, these bits where I've left white, I'm actually just going to fill in. I'm just going to fill them in with this colour. But I really do like this picture. I I, I really do love the, the Mariola Bedecker. Um, I think her pictures are really nice. She's got some fabulous pictures. I do like her artwork. It's it's just different. And this reminds me so much of the game, uh, I don't, you know, the Game of Thrones TV series, the Daenerys. She, it, plus with the dragon as well. So I'm just following this grey scale. And as you can see, I'm not doing all fancy. I'm just putting a light layer down so I can make sure that the other colour blends in. I'm just going to follow it all the way down. And this bit's got part of the spine, I would say. So I think I'm going to make that the same colour as what I do the spine. I'm calling it the spine, the bone bit. Just gonna zoom you in a little bit more so you can see a bit better. So 
So I'm just getting the colour down, nothing too neat. And then I'm just going to fetch some of this colour around on the opposite side of where the bone is. And just colouring some of this grey scale up. Right, so I'm just going to fetch some up here. Now this on this area is showing it is it's light, but I don't think it personally would be that much really light around this area because we've got the back of the red. So I'm just going to put some shading in of my own. Right, so we've got a rough first layer of the colour down. So I'm going to go in with the next colour, and which is sienna brown. I don't want a lot of this colour in because I want to start coming into my reds. So I'm just going to go over all of the black, was it the black raspberry? Yep. So we're just slightly fetching this sienna brown out, not too much because we want to get some of that red in there. And again, don't worry because we can go back in and darken areas up. So again, I'm just going over everything and slightly fetching the colour out. Yeah, I just thought I wanted to do it um, like a reddish tone, but I didn't. I didn't want it to be a typical bright red, um, so I wanted my dragon to look a bit different. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything neat. I'm just going over the dark raspberry, and I'm just fetching that sienna brown out towards the middle, but obviously not too much because we've got our reds to put in. And I do want this highlight. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, so with me bin poorly, I've actually got me uh, Hannah Carlson picture to still complete. I haven't completed it yet. Um, I did a live video, my last live video, or me starting it. So I've still got that to do. I've nearly finished it. And then I've actually got me uh, Harry Potter as well, what were on um, a live video. And I've got that to finish. So I haven't actually done a lot of colouring. I haven't coloured for since last week. And I'm not even sure what day it was. So I think it was beginning towards last week. So I've had like a little break from colouring. And as you can see, I'm uh, trying to be, fa be, be fairly quick for this video. Um, only because I'm doing it for a colour along for you. So if you if yous are actually following this, I do suggest... Just to maybe take your time a bit more. You can make it a lot neater than what I'm doing it, if you wish. And I've actually just got the um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween as well in it. What last one that I, I, I wanted for my collection. My brother actually bought me it for my birthday. And I've got the Mermaids, the first one, and the Alice book, and I just needed that one. So I was really of at moon when I received it. And it's just completed the collection. And I know it's Halloween's been and gone, but I was really wanting to start one. And then I've got the Christmas book, as uh, a Christmas book, which is obviously not Jasmine Beckett Griffith. But I really like that as well. Um, it's the uh, B and M one. It's from B and M stores. You'll notice I've got a review on my channel of it, and I've also got the Hannah Lynn Christmas book as well. And I've just been really wanting to start a Christmas picture, but I haven't because I'm wanting to get my other stuff finished first. Right, so as you can see, we've got a little bit of a mess. It, it's looking a bit muddy, but, but this is good because we haven't fetched our we haven't fetched our brown uh, the reds in yet. Sorry. Right, so the next colour, which I'm hoping works really well. It's crimson red so i'm hoping it's going to turn out pretty well because like i said i've never ever done this combination before so what i'd suggest to do is maybe when you start to put your red in we can always go back over with the sienna brown and just blend it in a bit if you need to so we'll see how it goes so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go over on the halfway we don't want to take over where we've put our brown in so we just go in in the middle of where we've put our last color in and we're just fetching it out and we're not going to be fetching it all the way out into the white because we want to leave an highlight Right, so straight away there, so you'll have to excuse that because I have fetched it out too far. So I'm just going to erase that. So just be careful on the narrow bits. Um, don't, like I said, it, it'd be better if you took more time at doing this than me. But for video purpose, I'm just trying to be quick. But I'm just going to... What I'm doing is I'm just trying to form my shape where I'm going to want my highlight to be. So I'm just going to get rid of that, what I've just gone over with. And if you are like me and you go over, don't worry, just erase, just erase it. So we're just going to leave that white highlight. 
So we're going to fetch this red halfway into this brown and fetch it out. Don't worry about it looking really neat at the minute, it doesn't matter. You can go back in and blend it. That's why I suggest not to put a lot of pressure on it first. So we're kind of forming like a little highlight shape. And where the darker brown meets the red, we can go back over with a bit of a more pressure and just blend that line in a bit more. Don't worry too much about it. And I think when I've put all my colours down, and then I go back in to blend it. I think I am going to add some black because I think it's just going to make it pop a bit more. So we're just giving it a little shape where we want our highlight to be. And I'm obviously wanting it all the way down the middle. And again, just on this bit, if you need it blending in a bar, go back in with the Sienna Brown. Right, so hopefully we've got the next colour, which is the Scarlet Lake. So we're just going to start to take that into the highlight. And we're still going to leave a bit because it's not actually, I don't think that's light enough, to be fair. So I'm just going to add another colour in because to me that's not light enough. So 
Right, I'm just going to find another colour because I'm wanting, I don't really think that's quite light enough for the uh, I like what I'm after. I'm wanting a pretty lighter colour. So let me just check. Um, Maybe... Should we go for poppy red or permanent red? Let's try the permanent red. Just going to sharpen it. So we'll go for the permanent red. And hopefully this will fetch it out a bit. And it's still pretty dark. I don't know if you can see that. Right, so we're going to cover this in with the permanent red. Right, just use the permanent red to fill in the top bit there. And it's still not light enough, not for my liking. Right, I'm going to go for the poppy red. This should work because it's lightest one. So we'll see. So it is a lighter colour, that's it, the poppy red. We're just going to blend out where we need to. So if you've got any lines that you want blending out, just put a bit more pressure on. So I think we're definitely going to be going in with the black. So with this bit here, I'm just going to fill the bottom of this in. And fetch this poppy red into everything and then we're gonna leave this just go over everything Right, so if you've got, I've got any dark areas, I want you to go back in with the Scarlet Lake and I want you to just lightly go over the lines, really lightly, where that line's showing up. Then we're going to go back with the permanent red and we're just going to go over the line we've just put down. This is just so we can maybe blend it out a bit more, a little bit better. And then go back in with your poppy red. So it's the same if you've got any harsh dark lines. So the last colour that we used was this sienna brown. So I'm just going to slightly go over. Try to blend it out as much as I can. And this is why you're best off using light layers. That way you can go back in with your colours, deepen them up 
as much as you like. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start going in and deepening everything back up. So we're going to go back in with the black raspberry. And we're just going to go right to the edges of everything. And we're just going to start deepening it, deepening that colour. So getting right into the edges of everything. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing still. <coughs> we are going to be doing some as well to fetch the black out and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be getting a different look all together. When I start to do that, it'll make the it'll make the tail of the dragon look totally different from what it's looking now. Hopefully it'll just give it a bit more depth. You'll see what I'm on about when I get my black out. So we will be wanting our black Prismacolor Premier Pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch this. Just where I've left it white here. So just deepen everything up and if you like me and you do end up going over off just erase it off don't have to be perfect right so once you're happy with how you've deepened that up i want you to grab your black prismacolor pencil and Try to keep it pretty, we want it pretty sharp, so I bet you I have to sharpen mine, and I do. So we want it sharpening. So if you look at this picture and this tail, it has got, some black lines going through the tail very lightly if you look here i'm just going to zoom you in just in case you can't see that i don't know if you've seen that but it has got little black lines that are going through the tail so what we're going to do is we're going to start darkening the edges and then very lightly really lightly with your black pencil we're going to be fetching some of this black through this tail so I'm not using a lot of pressure with this black it is just to darken the edges up So 
So I'm basically just darkening everything up where I want it to be the darkest. And don't worry, you can always go back over the black with a bit of brown if needed. So you just take your black raspberry and go over where you've put the black down. And we're just darkening it up a bit. So we're not fetching this black far out because we don't need to. So I'm just going on the outer edges of all the tail and just darkening it out. And already it's making a big difference to how it looks. And if you were there, like I said, you can go in with that black raspberry and you can put some over where you've put the black if you want to. You don't have to. So like here for instance, because I've fetched it a bit further out, I'm just going to go back over with the black raspberry. Right, so what I'm going to do, with the pencil being sharp, I'm just going to follow some of these lines, what are actually in the picture. They're already in there, they're just really fine lines. So we're just fetching this black out. Again, we don't need to put a lot of pressure on our pencils at all. We just needed we're just needing that black to come through. And we're just following the lines what are in there. You don't need to get every single line. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, we just need that colour in there.
so the lines are not going to match they're all going to be different lengths basically we're just using what she's put in the picture and following it And then I'm just going to take my black raspberry and just go over some areas. And that's the look I've got I was going for. So we've got a nice highlight in the middle, we've got like a kind of dark dark brownie appearance here um so yeah instead of it being all just your typical red i thought i'd make it a bit more like a muddy brownie color but with it being red at the same time i'm just gonna fetch some of the poppy red That's actually my permanent red, sorry. And then I'm going to go in with a poppy red. Right, so let me have a look. I'm going to zoom you back out. So, yeah, that's the colour. So, I'm thinking, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing this gold. I probably am. Or black. I don't know. I'm just going to have to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this bit first. Um, the same colours of what we've been doing. So, we'll do this claw. So we want to follow everything what we've done. So we're going to go with the black raspberry. I'm just going to sharpen the pencil. So we're going to leave nails for now. And I'm just going to think where I want my darkest parts to be. So let's have a look. So I'm just going to fetch this black raspberry. Up and around his foot. Leaving all this bit. So we're coming in from the right side. I'm just going to fetch some slight where the grey scale is. So again, we can use that grey scale. So we're pretty much wanting to cover the grey scale up. Right, so we're going to start with his claws and we're just covering where the grayscale is. And I'm only putting the colour down really lightly. And then we're going to come in with uh, the next colour, which was Sienna Brown. 
so with this for now I'm just going to fetch some up here fetch it down then we're going to go over all the grey uh, where we've put our grey scale colour down so where we've put the black raspberry we're just going over it again I'm not doing anything neat just going over all that grey scale So all this bottom foot, so slightly over where we've put it on its on the claws. I'm just going to fetch some round his knuckles, really lightly. So as you can see, nothing too fancy. So the next colour I believe was the crimson red. So very lightly, go over the sienna brown. Then we're going to start to go over everything. And we're going to leave little highlights, just a little highlight there. So I'm just going to leave little highlights. going to have a little highlight in between where I've put the browns and I'm not having out planned I'm just doing this as I'm colouring along so this is, isn't planned where I'm putting the where I'm putting the highlight I'm just using the uh, grey scale what's already down on the page and I'm just following that at the minute So here we tend to have our darkest around our right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fetch this red up a little bit. I'm going to fetch it all the way across the knuckles. Again, I'm not doing anything neat at all. So we've just got some random stuff going on and then I'm going to leave a little highlight here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the next colour which was the Scarlet Lake and we're only going to put a bit of this down and then we're going to go, let's have a look. Yeah, so I'm going to put a bit of Scarlet Lake, then we're going to put some Permanent Red and then we're going to leave every, the highlights and then that's going to be filled in with the Poppy Red. So we don't need a lot of this colour. So we're using the Scarlet Lake now. And again, we're just leaving highlights. I'm just going slightly over and fetching it out a little bit. You can go back up and deepen the colour up once we've got our colour down.
so we're just fetching it up a little bit and I'll leave an highlight there so as you can see nothing fancy at all Right, so we're going to just use um, the permanent red. This is just a transition colour so I can get from the permanent red to my poppy red. So we're only just going slightly over things with this colour. And I'm just going to go over everything we're slightly going into the white areas so where we want the highlight just do your best to try and leave a bit of an highlight i'm just gonna make a little bit of a shape here for highlight don't worry too much we can go back in and blend everything and darken things up So just slightly go over the colours and try to leave an highlight in places. Right, so we can fetch our poppy red in and just fill everything up. You can pretty much blend over everything with this poppy red as well. We can go back in and deepen the darkest areas up so don't worry about them because we're obviously going to be coming back in. We're going to be deepening them up and putting some black in because I want it to match the rest of the dragon. So you can just smooth over everything with this poppy red. Blend it out a bit. If you've got any little white spaces. And I'm actually liking the uh, colour combination, what I've chose for the dragon, so I'm, I'm happy with that. It's not looking too shabby. Yeah, I think that's a nice colour, plus with the air being really light as well. I'm just not sure on what background to do. I think I'm going to go with gold instead of black, I don't know. Right, so once we've got our poppy red down we're going to start to darken everything up again because it does make it pop so we're going to go in with the raspberry the uh, black raspberry and we're just going to start deepening it up just doing the same going over all the areas what were darker so I'm just going to hold a little bit in this corner Just where the knuckles are and in between the claws. I 
So again, we're going to go for black. And again, we don't need to put a lot of pressure when we're using our black. And I'm just using that grey scale, what's already in the picture. And putting it around the edges and just deepening everything up. And I think it definitely does make a different difference to picture and colour, adding black. So we're going to go around the fingers. Fingers, or should I say claws, because it is a dragon. And again, I'm just doing this for uh, really quickly because I am doing it in um, video format instead of rather than live. I think it's just easier that way I'm not speaking to people at the same time when I'm doing a colour along because so we're going to be here twice as long if I'm sat talking to people uh, this way I can do I might rush mine a little bit if you're wanting to take time to do this picture you can obviously pause and then carry on and you can keep pausing the video normally when I'm following colour alongs um, I tend to do like following them. I do tend to pause the video and just take my time doing it. And then I'm going to get the results I want. So you can always do that. You don't have to rush it like I'm quite doing. It just takes a lot of editing um, a video if, if it's over an hour. On my videos it really does take a, a lot of editing and then it's getting it uploaded and that. Right, so, yeah, I'm actually liking the colour. So, the face, which is, I think, is going to be the hardest. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the face in this this um, part. And we, while we've got these colours out, we're going to do this side of the wing. And then my next colour along I will be deciding what colour I'm doing this and I'm I, I think a gold would look nice rather than a black but we shall see so the face so we're going to get our black raspberry now so this is we want we want to not overdo it so we're going to go with the grey scale in this picture and we're going to start very lightly, just so we don't mess it up. I'm very lightly going over in the black raspberry. I'm just going to fetch a bit. So I'm just following the grey scale at the minute. Because they don't, they are, they have got a lot of different co colours in them when you see them on films and that dragons. I don't think they're all one colour. I think that's why I wanted to add the, I wanted to add the black in. And I was thinking of a green dragon, but I've already seen that done. I've seen multicoloured um, dragons done as well. So I wanted to just try something a little bit different. I mean, the um, fluorescent multi, you know, with the different colours in look really nice uh, but like I said I've, I've already seen it done so I just wanted to try something a little bit different so I wanted a red but to try add a little bit of browns and black into the red so we've got some grey scale just around here so we're just slightly putting that in at the minute because like I said I don't want to ruin it
so just where it's dark just around these little bits around the eye so we've got these like little grooves and these are obviously just gonna be dark aren't they so we're just slightly putting some color down Yeah, I think if I didn't do as much blending and shading, then I could probably could do, do the whole picture on a live or something. But like I say, I do like to, I do like to use my different colours and I do like to blend. That's why I take longer to colour, but I, I get the results that I want. And I do like to use uh, coloured pencils rather than markers. But you have to, with my style of colouring, then I've got to spend the time actually doing it. Right, so I've just put the, uh, some, laid some of the colour down. So I'm going to go for the next colour, which is the Sienna Brown. And I'm just going to slightly follow on from that. So we're going to fetch it out a little bit from the draw. And then we're going to follow it at the bottom around the edges and we're just going to fetch some out here and we're just going to go over all the areas where we've been just like we did with the foot we're just getting this colour down I'm going to fetch some actually, just along here. So I'm just following the patterns, what she's already put in, which I do love these pictures because they have got the grayscale put in for you. I'm going to slightly put a little bit of it in here and I'm only using really light pressure because we're going to be putting the red down so I've literally just gone over the grey scale and just added that colour where I want it and that's all I've done so we're going to go with the crimson red now with the crimson red we're going to do the same we're going to go over where we've put the brown don't worry about it looking messy I'm just going to add some of this crimson red at the top of the skull just follow all that outer edge and again we're just going over everything what we've put down so we're getting like a little messy look i'm just going to follow all the way these edges so we're just fetching the red out a little bit here I'm going to come from opposite end again don't worry about blending not not yet we'll do that when we get our poppy red down we can go over everything so I'm just going to fetch all this red, the edge of his jaw. <coughs> I 
Right, so we're going to take it. Are there everywhere where we've put this brown down? In all these little creases. So we're just covering everything up. Don't worry about too much of the creases because we're going to be going anyway back in with the darker colours. It doesn't matter too much about adding the red to that. So what I'm trying to do now is going to try to figure out where I want um, my highlights to be. So I think I'm going to add some of this um, crimson red around the outsides on the left. of the is it kind of like a bone structure around the dragon's head so i'm just gonna go with that and we're gonna just add some of that in i'm just gonna fetch some from the opposite end And fill the tops in. So we've got nothing fancy at the minute. Right, I'm going to fetch the red around the brown areas a bit more further out so we're just going over everything and fetching the red further out into the white spaces following the actual marks in the face if that made sense so we're just following the, the uh, grayscale what's already in there so now we've used the crimson red i think we're going to go for the scarlet lake and we're just going to try to form where we want an highlight. So I'm just going to fetch it round. Then I'm going to fetch this Scarlet Lake around the dragon's eye around here and at the minute i'm only doing it lightly and again i'm going over where i've put the other colors and i'm leaving highlights So I think I'm going to fetch it around here. We're just going to follow this eye. So we're going to fetch it round. We're going to leave a little highlight. So we're going to leave some space in the middle. And then same again down here. And around the nose area, we're just fetching this colour in. So I'm just figuring out again as I'm going along. If you want to put your highlight somewhere different, then obviously free feel, uh, feel free to do so. You don't have to have it the same as mine. You might think it might look different, uh, look a little bit better with an highlight in a different place. At the minute, it's just looking like a mess because we've obviously got more 
colours to put down so I'm just going over everything again around this area right so now I've put the Scarlet Lake um, I'm just going to do the same as last time I'm just going to use a little bit of the permanent red and this is just to fetch it slightly out so I can get in there with that poppy red so I'm only putting a light little bit down just going over the line of all the red what I've put down And now we can come in with a poppy red and again it's going to look different once I start going back in with different colours so with this poppy red let me show I've got the right colour we're just going to blend everything in So we're going to start to blend all the other reds what we've put down. And if you're like me, I've just gone and put it inside the eye, which I didn't want. So I'm just going to erase that. So I'm just blending it all together the poppy red I think I'm going to have to sharpen my pencil So I'm just blending all these reds together at the minute just so we're getting rid of any white lines and then we can go back in and darken where I've put these and if you are like me and you have got some um, that goes over the lines don't worry you can just erase it later i'll go back in and erase that around the eye
and then I'm just going to fill in this white where I've left white and get this red in. You'll have to excuse uh, my black board what I've got underneath here. I'm actually after Christmas I'm gonna be I'm gonna think I'm gonna buy one of them large uh mouse is it the uh gaming pads mouse pads but you can get the really large ones um with a nice background uh because this is actually a puzzle board and I'm doing all my work on the table in the living room i haven't got a desk yet I, i'm definitely going to have to get one uh, but at the minute it's finding somewhere to put it so I'm, i think i'm going to end up getting one of them after christmas anyway yeah a new background board because really i shouldn't be using this because it is me uh, jigsaw puzzle board i don't want really want to ruin it Yeah, I was looking on the uh, images for the uh, dragon of um, off a of Game of Thrones. Is it Drogon? But he's all black and too much black in it. And I thought, well, I don't really want it to be all black. Um, so I was really struggling trying to think of what colour I wanted to do this dragon. But red sprung to mind. Right, so I'm just going to fill this little bit in red. Right, I'm just going to deepen bottom of his uh, lip, where his lip is. And then I can start going back in and deepening some areas up. So we'll take our black raspberry and we're just deepening everything up and we're going to be going back over with the black as well. So just going over all the grayscale areas what are down. What are already there in picture for us. Right, I'm just gonna come straight in with black now. And I'm gonna follow these lines, what are already in the picture. And just darken all these up. So I'm just adding the black. I'm 
I'm just going to fetch it down the jaw. And I'm going to fetch it at the bottom as well, around the edge. I don't know if you can see that, but the black just gives it a bit more definition. I just think it looks a little bit more better putting this black in. And just all these little grooves, you can just slightly put that colour in there. I'm just going to put some on the inside of these little lines. And if there's any, any areas that you need to, obviously you can just go back on there with your raspberry. So let me have a look. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. If you want to go in and deepen any more areas of this soap, uh, I suggest that you do. Uh, like I said, you can spend a lot more time on it, but for I'm trying to get the colour along pretty much done. So I'm going to go just take some of this raspberry and add some in there. Right, so we're going to be doing the last bit of this colour along for this part because I think we've took a lot of time up. Oh, definitely I have. Um, so we're going to be just doing this outside of the wing. So I'm going to take this black raspberry and it shouldn't take a lot of time to do this at all. And we're just going to go around the outer edges. There's not a lot of space, so we need to keep that in mind to get all our colours down. So we're going to come straight in with that sienna and we're just going to slightly go over the top of everything. So we're just going over the top of the raspberry because we aren't we really aren't got a lot of room. So then we're gonna come with the crimson red. And again we're only slightly fetching it out because otherwise we're not gonna have any room to put the poppy red in. So really quick and easy, this bit. 
So, Scarlet Lake. And I definitely have used more reds than what I wanted to use as well. So I know I'm blending in a lot of colours. Um, the only reason I'm putting the Parisian red. Where's it gone? Is this, yeah, the only reason I'm putting the Parisian red down. Uh, permanent red, not Parisian. I don't know where I've got that from. Permanent red is just so I can tran transition the colours so I can put that poppy red down so I know I am using quite a lot of reds but I was wanting the a lighter colour than the original colour combination what I picked so with the poppy red we're just filling the rest in again if you've gone if if you do go off I don't worry about it I will be touching mine up after this video with me fine eraser. And then I'm just going to go back straight to the black cherry. And add a little bit of black in. Just so it all matches very lightly with the black So I'm wanting to do um, a Christmas colour along on my channel. Um, I'm just going to go back in with the uh, raspberry. Uh, definitely, yeah, I'm wanting to do like a uh, something to do with Christmas. Um, and hopefully my channel will not get affected because um, I don't run ads or anything. Um, I don't see why my channel would be affected. Um, I think I'm going to have to start making my thumbnails a bit plainer and just state that it is actually adult colouring or adult relaxation um, in my thumbnails and hopefully that'll be enough because I don't really want I don't really want to end up with um, all the comment section turned off and the notification bell and people not being able to save it or communicate because it would be a shame and I definitely like the option of being able to do live videos as well. So hopefully. A lot of colouring channels will survive it. Um, but we'll just have to see how it goes. And see what happens. Right. I don't know why I keep getting up because I can actually see sat down um, but I'm just wanting to I think my light's a bit more you'll have to excuse me it's just I can see better with light in this room uh, so yeah we've got this red we've got this red uh, dragon which has obviously got brown and black in so it makes it a little bit better than being plain red so I think I'm gonna do the outline of a wings here these that are running through her wings, I think I'm going to do black. I'm going to do the inside of the wings gold. Or, yeah, maybe, yeah, so gold. Or actually, I might do the inside of the wings black and the out, out, out of the, this area, the bone, what's running through gold. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. So... <laughs> So never mind what I've just said, I'm actually changing my mind. 
I'm doing the inside of the wings black and then I'm doing these bits gold and I think I'm going to go for a gold look around this area and this area here. So that's what I'm going to be doing in my next colour along. I have decided so that's what I will do. And I think I'll be adding some black to the gold as well. I think I'm going to do it like... Um, I don't know if you've seen my Halloween colour along. Um, my uh, page by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I use like an uh, artichoke in my gold combination. Uh, pencil, I think I'm going to do that one. I think it will suit this more. And I haven't got a clue yet what colour I'm doing the background. Um, so we'll just have to see on that, probably just do a neo background. So anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I have rushed it a bit, but hopefully you've been able to follow it. Um, I am going to take a bit more time um, on my next video part. Um, it's just that I've been really rushed off my feet and I've uh, not been colouring a lot. I've been going to work. I've uh, only just started to feel better because i've been poorly so you will have to excuse me but i did want to get this color along out there for you um so this is the part two color along and i will see you for the part three um for the rest of the wings and the dragon and then i can just do hopefully do the background if i get it done quick enough i can do the background in the same uh same video and hopefully I can get that done. Uh, so definitely thank you for coming to watch and keep an eye out for any, any of my future videos. And I think after this one, I think it's just going to be a Christmas colour along. So thank you very much and bye for now.